Hello guys, I'm Batdan16 PS3 and welcome back to episode number 9 of my Gran Turismo 6 Let's Play series. Uh, I did the Goodwood Festival of Speed off camera and I eventually got gold with the Expo. I did it on my, I think, ninth, fifth attempt and I did it in a 52 seconds 0.536 and what you needed to get was 53 seconds. So I completed all of those to gold standard, and of course with everything Gran Turismo you get a new car. So if I go back to my garage, the car that I got is the Light Car Company Rocket 2007. Unfortunately they didn't have a black version of this, so I got it in British Racing Green instead. And it looks like that when it loads. Come on, how hard is it to load? There we go. So, yeah. Looks just like a old traditional Formula 1 car from the 50s and 60s. But I want to get back in my Alpha. And in this episode we're going back to actually doing some racing. We are going to the National B tier and we're doing the 400pp Clubman Cup. I'm not sure how many pp my car is. It is 391, so it's fairly close to the limit. Although the entry requirements say 500 or less. So is it which cars around 400pp complete, but you can have better cars if you so wish. Oh, I'm going to stick to this one. And we've got Silverstone National Circuit, which is just a short one, which includes cops as well as the fine, the old pit straight and the what used to be the final complex. And then we've got Circuit de Roma, around the Rome, and then the Autumn Ring. Anyway, let's get started at round Silverstone. in my little alpha. What cars are we up against? Honda CRX, I think. Honda Civic, Lantis Coupe, or Coupe. Uh, Toyota Sprinter, and something else I didn't see. Hang on. Toyota Celica 2000 GT4. That could be interesting. I don't know what PP it's on, but a Toyota Celica under 500 PP seems a bit interesting. Anyway, here we go. Let's dispatch the Belgian fairly quickly. That's what we like. It's only a two lap race. Oh, we even get the first part of the Maggots and Beckett's complex. I hated having to do this in that Nissan. This was very, very tough. Back would always want to try and kick out on you. Down part of the new track. Oh, little nudge. My bad. Trying to be too aggressive again. Up to third. E just about got away with that one. Try time to catch the Toyota Celica. Don't know why they named it that. It always sounds like silly car. Maybe that's what they were thinking when they designed it. And I broke ridiculously late, uh, early then. Be lucky if I can catch him. Well, I do seem to be reeling him in. Further twists to come, I think. Ooh, don't want to hit him. Got this long straight. And then that final complex to try and get him. 
I can remember to change gear, that would be awesome. Try and slipstream him down here. It's working. Down into third. Drop down again, second half around here. It's weird how this game tries and preaches breaking a straight line, don't break on a on a turn, and then they keep trying to get you to break on a turn. I'm sure if you're going slow enough, it doesn't do anything. And only when the speed increases does it end up spinning you out and chucking you into a wall. Anyway, won that race. By how far? Three seconds, and I only overtook him near the end of that back straight. So, two corners, I gained three seconds. I guess it's not as fast as I thought it was. That's 9,000 credits. Our credit total's beginning to get up there, 944,000. I don't know what I'd spend it on, whether I'd spend it on upgrading a car. Obviously I'll have to buy new ones to compete at the higher levels. But this car was only a gift, so that's why I figured I'd use it to try and save myself some credits. But if there's any cars that you want me to buy, uh, if you just leave it in the comment section below. And I'll have a look at it in further videos. Unfortunately I record a bunch of these ahead of time. Um, so I might not be able to do the changes for you until a few videos in the future but if I do see a comment I will take it on board and look into what you suggested. Anyway, race 2 around Rome. Got 166 CRX Lancer C4 and a Skyline. It's an R31 from 87 so it's a bit old but this game doesn't seem to take age into account, whereas obviously in the real world if it was old it would probably have blown up by now. Um, so yeah, it's, it will still be like it came out of the factory. So it's still one to watch out for I think. You might see it take off, but you never know. start off and immediately get thrown into a gear change. It's one way to make sure you're awake. Running really wide, can't get the power down at all. That was a terrible line, hopefully next time around it'll be better. And around the outside. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Just wanted to hit him. There he is, He's right next to me. Who dares break latest going down to this corner? Probably should have braked a little earlier. I was just trying to put him off. As it is, I'm five seconds away from first, which I believe is that skyline. Which has got to be pushing the 500 pp limit. Come on, get around the corner. Thank you. Citroen C4. Let's get him up the inside. He just decided to turn into me. What an absolute bell piece. That corner was a lot better. Liking that. Around the outside, going at the inside of this turn. Thankfully he didn't hit me like the other guy did. Nice clean pass. Already a second ahead. Just going down that straight.
Don't know why it is. They always seem to get away from you to start with, but then as soon as you overtake them, they just f feel like giving up. They're like, oh, you overtook me. Can't win now. I'll just drop back. I don't know. Oh, I've hit that wall again. I don't know why that is. Cause he's now two seconds behind. If he wanted to, he could plant his foot and just absolutely mug me because I keep hitting walls and missing gear changes. Right, last corner. Come on, get round. Thank you. And just a nice straight shot for the line. Nice little horn blast if you go over. So he ended up winning by 3.7 seconds. I got one second on him on a straight and another 2.7 around the rest of the lap. They just give up. Obviously no rubber band physics going into this. Anyway, I'm not complaining. I get another gold trophy and some extra cash. And another three stars. I think I've now unlocked the second coffee break. I think that was only ten stars and I already had nine from the first race. Or from the first set of races. So with these extra six, hopefully nine if the last race goes well. Around the autumn ring. Uh, should have unlocked that. Uh, eight point eight thousand seven hundred for this one. I like how the money for the third event is always higher than the previous two. Just makes you feel good about yourself. I think yeah, if I win that, that's an extra ten thousand, close to. And the skyline's back, as is the Celica and the FTO. So they seem to be pulling out all the stops to try and stop me winning. But it ain't gonna work. By hook or by crook, I am winning this race. And just going past that car, I could hear his car changing gear or revving up and I thought that I hadn't changed gear. It was really off putting. Don't hit him. Why are you breaking right on the apex for you fool? English fool too. Up into fourth place. Not fourth gear. Long sweeper. Try and keep a tight line going around here. Got that FTO in front. Uh, will I be able to get him up the inside? No. No, he's just going to slam the brakes on instead. Well, that went well. It's because he's trying to battle with the Alpha 147, I think that is. I could be wrong. It's definitely an Alpha Romeo. And the outside there. Make sure he is actually behind me, not next to me. 4.6 seconds away from first place. And I'm in third. Whoops, many gears. No, he's planting it on apexes and not letting me... No, that was way too aggressive. My bad. Really need to calm my driving down and dive up the inside here. He's already behind me. See, I've overtaken him. He's just given up and gone, eh. Uh, you yeah, have six tenths by the end of the sector, which is just 200 metres down the road. 
least a little bit of fight wouldn't go amiss. this corner again, just run a little bit wide, just bring it back. Nice steady acceleration out. I was not forgetting to brake for that one because that's what nearly cost me the front of my car. And second to last corner. Oops. Didn't brake enough and then changed down. Look how far away he is. Put your right foot down, man. This is going to be at least three seconds. 3.8, nearly four seconds. Oh, dear. Nine thousand six hundred credits. 163,000. My ninth star in this, 18th overall. And yeah, I want to exit. It's a shame that it's not like the old days where just winning one set of races would get you a car. But, oh well. We've now unlocked the second coffee break challenge. What does this one want me to do? How far can you go on one litre of fuel and another cone knockout? I know we've just got back to the racing after two episodes away from it doing other challenges with this game. So I'm going to leave this coffee break for a couple of episodes and the next one will be the City Trials series. That will be in episode 10 which will be out next week. Thanks for watching.